Now that we've talked about the difference between citations and links, we've seen what these look like and we know the importance of having them when it comes to Google and your customer base, let's dive into the platform and see how we can audit those existing citations for inaccuracies and duplicates using the Citation Tracker tool. Here we have the Citation Tracker tool for an example location in our demo account. If this was your business or a business that you managed as an agency, um, maybe a brand location that you're monitoring, you will have the option to have a look at this report at a location level, going into all of your locations, choosing which one it is you're focusing on today and opening up the citation tracker. Or you can choose from the uh, drop down at the top to see all of the citation tracker reports that you have running for every location. I need to focus on this specific location today and I want to see how many key citations this business has, how many live citations in total, if there are any pending citations that have been submitted or built but haven't gone live yet, and how many competitor citations I can get some insights on. We are starting in the key citations tab and this is where we can see and measure how many citations we have now, what this footprint looks like, and how we can measure what it will look like in future when we've done more duplicate removals, when we've cleaned up those citations and we've done more campaigns building new listings. This section here is a purely bright local metric. It's a great way to measure where you started today, the first time that you ran this report, and in three or four months time, for example, you've done some citation building campaigns, you've deleted duplicates, um, you've had aggr data aggregators that you've submitted to, you'll start to see this score improving. And that's how you can measure what you're doing with stakeholders of your business or with your clients. So here we've got it specified of how many key directories has this business been found on? How many has, have we not been found on? Uh, and therefore, I would consider this seven opportunities to get listed somewhere that I currently don't have my business as being visible. How many of those listings have correct NAP data and how many have incorrect data? So here I can see the comprehensive list, which directory has the business been found on or not? What's the information that's held there? And is there anything that I need to know or potentially do with this directory and my citation building. So I can see that we haven't been found on Bing. Now I know when I go onto my citation builder campaign that I'm going to make sure I select Bing as a site that I want to submit to. I also know that we've got an incorrect address here as it's highlighted in red and it doesn't match the information that was given to the platform. So we are trying to match the information that was provided to Bright Local with the information that we found out there on the directory. If anything differs from what we believe to be true from the information provided to the platform, we will flag this as a potential issue, potential incorrect NAP data that you then want to focus on fixing. So I now know insights already, and we've only been looking at this report for less than a minute, that I have an opportunity here to be listed somewhere that I wasn't before, and I've got some good opportunities to clean up information on these particular directories because it's not correct, it's not matching. I also know, looking through here, are there any alerts that the platform is telling us? Duplicate citations suspected. When I see this little double page icon, I know then that I want to select a duplicate removal service as part of my citation builder campaign to remove those suspected duplicates. I've also got an alert here that there's suspected NAP issues. We do also know this from them being in red, but just as an extra highlight. And also, if I'm one of a team working within the platform, I might want to leave a memo for a colleague who's also going to pick up this report, work on the campaign, to say that this citation is being dealt with, everything is going to be okay, or that it is okay, that it's in hand, or that we have issues with this one and it needs work, and this one's in the process of being fixed, but there are some notes or issues to do with that. And I can set these and see these notes in these triple dots here, the citation information. I click in there. That will show me the citation details. If there are any suspected duplicates, that would show in here too. This is the business we found. Is this the same business? Is this actually a duplicate listing? Or is it just a business with a similar name? The URL. And also, as I mentioned, these internal notes and memos where you can rate the citation, 
for your own reference or for your colleagues, note what needs to be fixed and also leave these memo notes for anyone that is going to pick this up. One thing to note is that this is purely an internal memo service for yourself and for your team. It's not something Bright Local see or deal with, but it's there for you to know and keep track of what's going on on each listing. Looking at the live citations, so we now know which key citations we need, which key directories we're listed on, and what the information is that's held there. In our live citations, however, we've got quite a marked difference. So this is encompassing all directories, not just those key directories. So we've got 522 mentions of our business that have been found. Another great area for being able to measure growth and provide that evidential information of the um, benefit of doing the Citation Builder campaign and tracking the data is here that we can see that every time the report ran, this is how many existing citations you had at the time, how many new ones we found that month when we scraped. And this is a good way each time you do a Citation Builder campaign of showing growth in the listings footprint. We can also see a comprehensive list of every directory that we found a live citation. Whether it's something that we can submit to in our Citation Builder campaigns or not, if it's something that you might want to go and deal with, for example, we don't submit to YouTube, but here we've got a potential duplicate citation. You want to take this information, go to YouTube and check if your business is on there twice, if there are mentions of your business, or is it, like I've said, a similar business in a similar area or similar names? But you can do this with any of these particular directories uh, and also get that information about their authority score. Are these good directories to be on based on how likely they are to rank highly? The citation value, is it very high, is it medium? And the type of site. You can also go straight to the directory from in here. Um, and if it's not your business and it is just something that sounds like yours, you can remove it from the report. It won't delete the listing. It just removes it from your, your vision in this particular report. Your pending citations are here to act as a replacement as a, from a spreadsheet. Lots of local SEO people will know that marketing professionals, anybody working in the business of SEO for a company, it was infamous that you would keep all of your citations and listings and all of that type of work manually in a spreadsheet. This has negated the need for that. You can keep all of your citations working here. So along with doing citation builder campaigns, let's say you do want to then submit to some sites that we don't cover in the particular campaign or that you want to do after submitting a campaign and you think, ah, just want to build two more citations on these particular directories. I'll go away and do that manually. Here, I can put in any pending citations that I've built I've gone away, I've gone to 12law.com, I've gone to Magic Yellow, I've created some listings. They haven't gone live yet, maybe I only did them yesterday. So I'm going to add them in here to make sure that I keep track of them. Every time this report runs, so let's say it ran a month ago, it's scheduled to run tomorrow, it's running on a monthly cadence. These are my pending citations that I've put in here. So when the report runs tomorrow, if they've gone live, I'll move over into the live citations section. My listings footprint has improved and I know going forward that I can put all of my work in here to see it all in one place. Your competitor citations. This is going to be one of the most important areas that you want to look at when doing this citation and listings footprint analysis. You can see in here purely where your competitors are listed that you are not. You'll see in these toggles, if you hover over, it will automatically pull in the top five top competitors based on your business category and where you're based. And we can see here if any of those are listed on any of these particular sites and we're not listed there. So I can see here that on Inc.com, we're not listed there, but the McIlveen family law firm are. Great. I don't want that company to get ahead of me. I don't want them to have any presence anywhere that I'm not. I'm going to make sure that I submit to that particular directory. And you'll be able to do this all the way down. Sometimes you'll see that all competitors are listed somewhere that you're not. Sometimes it might just be the odd case. We can also see any particular information here. There's a wrong business name on this particular site. 
we can go to the citation information and we can get that citation directly. If we want to, in that moment, go to inc.com or constantcontact.com and build a citation, we can do it right now.